what's up youtube so it's kale cory coming back at you again uh so i passed my personal training test for ace so i am officially an ace certified personal trainer woohoo um so i thought i'd just talk about that a little bit just kind of like what my experience was and uh what i did to pass the test so really i read through the entire book then i went through the i don't know like study guide that they have on their website i just did the basic one besides that i went over some of the uh muscle anatomy stuff uh really what i focused on was you know the frontal the transverse the uh sagittal and frontal sagittal transverse there's one more plane <laughs> i'm forgetting right now but besides that what they really tested over it was it was a lot of like really kind of basic stuff um there was like some regressions of exercises that i kind of studied uh really there was a couple of questions on some of the legal stuff that they go over and like the insurance that you need as a personal trainer that they taught they test over so i would definitely go through that chapter maybe a little bit better than i did i mean i still passed but i do know that that was one of the sections that i didn't do as well on as the other ones uh because i just didn't focus on as much kind of thinking they weren't going to test over it all that much which there were a couple questions over that um really yeah what they re what really i saw most on there there was a couple questions over blood pressure there is a uh, definitely a question over it's like uh it was supposed over the body mass index scale and it wasn't the formula because I, I, re I memorized the formula just to realize i didn't need to memorize the formula <laughs> it's just uh kilograms divided by uh height in meters squared and so i memorized that for no reason but there's also a, like, a formula to do it in like pounds and inches so it's like 703 times pounds divided by inches is the uh u.s formula for that but you don't even need to know that really what they tested over was they asked like what is like considered i think like overweight on the body mass index scale so i would definitely go over that and then there was like a combination of like hdl and ldl and they're like uh which is like or, and they, there was like a four option choices and they're like which of these is the worst so i would definitely go over like ldl and hdl and what is considered bad h like a, like a, a bad like total cholesterol score and uh i was thinking they were gonna have like questions specifically over diastolic and systolic over the chart like they have like telling you that uh basically good blood pressure is like 120 over 70 i believe so like you should be uh like 120 systolic and below no i think it's like below 80 diastolic no it might be it actually might be 70 but don't quote me on that but for sure i thought there was gonna be more questions over that but there wasn't for me personally uh really what i saw there's definitely a couple questions over the planes of motion which is the frontal the sagittal the transverse and there's one more that slipped in my mind But anyways, yeah, um, I think there was, there was definitely one over like the regressions and like progressions of exercises. Um, I think I remember there's definitely some kind of over like what you should, you should do with like certain clients. They talk about some of the hydration stuff or like before and after exercises. So you definitely want to know that. Um, a lot of it's really common sense. Uh, I think I went over the chart for like, cause I thought they were going to test over like rep ranges and like hypertrophy and set times and uh rest times for like you know different types of lifting as far as if you're doing like a hypertrophy base if you're doing like general muscular fitness if you're doing strength training if you're doing powerlifting competitions but there wasn't really anything too specific over that so it's really it's really pre most of it's pretty obvious so like pretty uh you know stuff that you should already know as a personal trainer uh, I do believe there was a, there was there for sure was a couple questions over like nutrition, but really I think the ones that I saw on the test were like what should you do if a if a client is asking about, uh, you know high health and nutrition or like what they should eat, and the answer is you should not give them like a specific diet plan because you're not a nutritionist if you're a personal trainer, you are a personal trainer so that's outside of your scope of practice so they kind of try to trip you up on that one like it's like, it's like i think one of the answers is uh you should give them a detailed like you know meal plan which you shouldn't do that and i think the correct answer was basically just uh refer them to government like websites like the 
I don't know, like the MyPlate website and like, I think it's like the USDA, which is like the US Drug Administration or Food and Drug Administration, FDA, whatever. And then uh, yeah, basically just refer to them like to like scholarly, like research sources from the government that tell you what you should and can eat. Like you can tell them stuff based on that. Like you could be like, okay, you have high cholesterol or you have high blood pressure or whatever. Uh, you should you should go on the I mean you, well technically you would refer out to a uh, a doctor and tell them you know to see what a doctor says but you could be like if you're trying to lower your cholesterol you could go on to the dash diet if uh, it's a concern but again uh, you would you would tell them like you know check with their doctor um, really I'm trying to think what else happened on the test I think I think there may have been a question on supplementation. And, like, the answer was, like, something along the lines of, uh, there's no, like, evidence for any supplements on the market. It's, and, like, I think there, there may have been one over creatine, and that one's, that one's kind of obvious. Um, I will say, getting onto the test was a little bit confusing. So, I would make sure, uh, I did get it set up before, but I would, I would open the test a little bit earlier than the, than your scheduled time. Because I was, like, right on the dot, and I was, like, having to, like, kind of <laughs> figure out what I was supposed to be, how to get on there or whatever, but... It was fine, we got it done, and I passed, so I'm happy about that. So, uh, one thing that's kind of, like, interesting on the ace, like, it, rather than calling it a squat, they call it, like, a bend and lift. Um, I thought there was going to be some questions on, like, the, uh, th there's, like, certain types of motions that are, like, closed and open chain, like, exercises, but I really did not see any of those. I would go over the, like, assessments that they have on there i mean they're pretty i saw i definitely saw a couple questions over like the ventilatory thresholds which uh honestly those weren't too difficult to like understand like uh when you can't talk it's vt1 and then when you really can't talk like you you're like you know exhausted i think it was like when you really you can absolutely not talk is probably what they would say uh that would be vt2 and then that's the talk test i think uh they offer you some tests that they don't even mention in the book as one of the answers and so obviously that's not the correct answer but um I, there was definitely a couple calculations on there like uh talking about like how many calories you would need to lose this amount of weight in this amount of time and really all you have to do is multiply 500 calories by however many days it's going to be and i think it's like 3500 calories of one pound of fat so you can just divide, you know, whatever, 500 times however many days divided by 3,500. And that's how much, like, weight you can lose realistically. I think it's like one to two pounds of weight that you can lose, you know, realistically without, like, uh, you know, losing a bunch of muscle or whatever. Because that's, that's the recommended. It's like, I think it's like a, a half, well, technically it's one to two pounds. But, you know, I personally, I, I try to go like half a pound. If you're like, you know already have a bunch of muscle if you're just trying to lose weight obviously one to two pounds is probably better but there's uh there's one other guy on youtube I, i'll have to i'll have to link him down in the comments that i used his videos to uh help me on the test and uh, excellent videos he has several videos over the different personal training courses like i think he has one for nasa he has one for ace uh i think he has one for acsm too which that's the one i went with originally and the reason why i ended up going with ace instead is because ACSM, they really don't have, I think they may have like an official study guide, but it's like twice the price of their, like they're like a regular test with just with a textbook. And I had gotten their textbook and I was studying through that, but there's really no like guidance if you're just gonna take the test without any, without paying for any additional study materials. And I remember it was like significantly more expensive. I think it's like, uh, with like the study guide and all that, it was like $627 or something if you're not a member and then you have to pay to retake the test which you have to do that in the ace too but i just really appreciated having more guidance with uh with the ace program because you just go on their website you have the book uh and you actually have another book which i didn't use the other book which had like uh basically questions for every chapter because it was just gonna i mean it would have taken me forever to do that and i mean i just read through the textbook i went back through and i reviewed and then i took the test and i passed it uh, I think I was like a little bit higher than the 70% mark on the test. Uh, so I, I was, I was pretty close to that cutoff, but I'm, I'm good. I'm just glad I passed it. Uh, I did study for about one summer. So I, I think it took me like two, three months. 
So you you could definitely do it pretty quick. I would that's how much time I would take personally, just because there's so much information to know and it's like 150 questions over like a I don't know. I think it's well over 500 pages, maybe six seven hundred page book. Um, the stuff that I didn't really like, I, I did skim. I think like maybe the last like two chapters maybe because like there was like a there was one over obesity and there was one over like elderly clients like osteoporosis type stuff like that and there was one over the legal stuff which i kind of just skimmed through those last few chapters because i had read the first like 530 or 40 pages <laughs> and i was like okay this is like the main bulk of what's going to be on the test which i was right that was the main bulk of what was going to be on the test i don't really need to go over like the legal stuff i don't really need to go over as much of the uh elderly client stuff for the obesity stuff really all you need to know like as far as obesity and like uh is like what is considered overweight and what is considered like obese on the body mass index scale which uh it talks about in the book and you probably already know this body mass index isn't actually very accurate for people that are like that have more muscle on their body or significant I, th I think the overweight thing is or the, the obvious thing is right but if you have a whole lot of muscle on your body you're gonna weigh more because of the muscle and you may be <laughs> classified as overweight or obese because you have a higher uh, amount of muscle on your body i'm trying to remember what else they tested over i know for sure the progressions and regressions of exercises I would look through the videos of that guy that he has online and uh, kind of see, he shows a couple examples of like stuff on there and those really helped me. May, there was like, okay, there are a couple like free uh, tests from Ace online that you can get through Quizlet and that's where I, I, yeah, I've reviewed quite a bit. I did go over the practice test, I think just one time uh, and they, they provide you with one free practice test and you can buy the other ones. I didn't buy the other ones. Um, I was when I was looking through the you know some videos and stuff supposedly like the pocket prep is not very good for this test um, really I would read the book once through uh, and then review through the book watch uh, I'll put the the other guys videos uh, that has some really informative like study guides and like things like that that he goes through um, for the test because that that really helped me there's a lot of you know useful information in that like uh, one little piece of advice he gives on the, in like his video that was that helped me a lot is when it comes to like dealing with your clients it's like the least intrusive uh method of dealing with whatever you need to is usually the correct one if it's like as far as like uh correcting somebody you would just uh you wouldn't be like you don't want to be rude ever obviously so that's kind of like what they're showing they're like hey this is uh, something you can do better with but that was good besides that or something like that you know what i mean but uh they i think they go over like the patterns of movement like they have their whole like ace uh like like structure it's like uh load speed then movement or like it's like a like a shoot i think it's like yeah i'm trying to functional then movement or it's like functional balance and then like uh load speed for the strength and then the other one is like uh, i think the bottom one's like functional or something like that and then it's like movement and performance for the uh, the cardio you'll have to go over that probably a little bit and then they want you to go over like the smart goals so it's like specific measure measurable attainable realistic and time oriented so, I mean, that's definitely important. Oh, I think something that they did, I did see a couple times on the test was like when you're training a new client to do something, it's gonna be show, tell, do. So you're gonna show them how to do it. Or, no, excuse me, it's tell, show, do. So you're gonna tell them how to do it, you're gonna show them how to do it, and then you're gonna have the client do the exercise. And honestly, that was not very difficult for me to remember. I think there may have been like one question over like the, uh, they're like what portion of the like the spine is this and i think i put like lumbar spine or something like that uh so definitely go over like the portions of the spine i wouldn't go over like the individual like anatomical like structure or like the you know the individual like spinal bones or anything like that it may be helpful because i did look over some of the muscular charts a couple of times 
just so I kind of had like, you know, a relative idea of what muscles are where, like where the gastrocnemius is. Most of the stuff you're probably, the big muscles, you're already going to know. You already know the biceps, you already know the triceps, you already know the delts, traps, glutes, uh, hamstrings, quads. Uh, but, there, you know, there's some of the other muscles in your body that you're probably not going to know. You know what I'm saying? Like the gastrocnemius, I didn't, I had to, you know, look over and see where that was. I needed to know where the rhomboids was, the the, the scapula. Um, you may know about the, uh, what is that called? Uh, shoot. There's one right here, like above your abs. I forget what it's called. Uh, I'm going to remember it and then I'm going to be, it's going to drive me nuts until I remember it. But it's like, a, it's the one that gives you kind of like that feathered type look above your abs when you're like super shredded. But, uh, you, I mean, you probably won't need to know all the specific, like tiny little muscles like that. But the big major muscles, I would kind of familiarize yourself with what the movements patterns are of those. Like the rhomboids, like, you know, it's involved kind of like, and like that downward pulling motion, it's like in your, it's like on your back. And then like, obviously, you know, the pectoralis major and stuff like that, you already know, like relatively what they do. I think there was definitely one question over like what's involved in the push up, And I, I mean, like stuff like that, it's fairly obvious. It's going to be the pectoralis major and then the triceps and like it's not gonna be like your biceps or your glutes or whatever else they put for the answers that were incorrect but uh really yeah that's i mean i would just go over i would just read through the book the first portion definitely go over the legal stuff a little bit so you know you know if they test you over it because they did for me go over the planes of motion go over the big major muscles the regressions of exercises you probably will need to know. I would go over some of the assessment tests that they're going to test you about. I would definitely go over like the talk test and like the VT1 and VT2 stuff. Then like I would certainly go over like some of the cholesterol stuff like uh, what a bad total cholesterol is. What is LDL? What is HDL? LDL is bad cholesterol. HDL is good cholesterol. Then like yeah i mean really that should be the bulk of what you need to know for the test uh, i may go over and like do you know a, a more in-depth video but that's going to be the basic of it if you go through the book and you read it you know and you like go back through and study some of the portions you went over you should be good i would definitely go over the assessments and everything i said just now and i'll put a link to the other guy's video in the comments he had a couple of videos going over like the you know muscle functions and like some of the things that were tested on the test that are much more in depth and have like an actual study guide and visuals which this video is not going to have but that was my experience with the test uh, if you study for it if you like you know take the time and you go through the book and then you review and you write down stuff so you remember it even better you'll I i'm sure you'll pass it but just uh you know before you take the test don't like take it lightly because i mean if you like half-ass it you're probably gonna fail so just make sure you do the work that you know the test requires to do it um as far as like the job outlook i would make sure that like you know if you're doing it do it because you want to do it like if you want to go personal train or if you just want the extra knowledge and the certification um you know it may be a good call a good job for like a college student or something like that but you know the the, the pay and stuff like that is usually not great a lot of times it's based on commission so I kind of just did it because I wanted to do the extra information. I wanted to become a certified personal trainer. And if I get a job, that's great. If not, I can do other stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm, uh, my career path in the future will probably go. Uh, it might go in a different direction than fitness anyways. It's not going to stop doing fitness. But I just kind of wanted to do it to see if I could do it, which obviously I could. So I'm happy with that. Personally, I would not go with ACSM. They're very, very good Uh school it's, it's the american college of sports medicine ace actually references them a lot in their book because they're you know very well established but the only thing is there's just not uh there's just not a lot of like structure and you kind of just have to read through the book and take the test on your own and there's like there's like several books from like acsm too so uh, you'd have to read through like at least two at least two books and like they're you know fairly lengthy and like you know kind of convoluted scientific terms scientific terms that are kind of hard to follow so uh, personally ace was a little bit easier for me um one of my buddies uh is taking the the nasm pretty soon 
But yeah, that was my experience. Uh, I hope some of this information helped. I am going to go hit chest and then get some homework done. Thanks for watching. I hope uh, this helped. I'll link the other guy in the comments. And yeah, good luck on the test.